Hello, I'm Philip Batley, and I narrate the audiobook How to Understand Everything, Consilience, A New Way to See the World, by Tom Beekbane. A discussion of the realities of interpersonal communications unavoidably becomes entangled with the touchy matter of personal characteristics. Let's explore the topic by looking at what happens when two people approach each other. First of all, the context is crucial. Is the location isolated? Is it dark? Is the country at war with a foreign power or a deadly virus? Second, the characteristics of each person dictate how they react. What is their age and gender? What is their appearance? How are they dressed? Do they look as though they are from different social groups? Are they members of rival gangs or threatened minorities? As they approach each other, their gait and how they direct their gaze will indicate the tenor of the interaction. At this point, not one word has been spoken, yet much has been communicated. Then, as soon as one person says, How do you do? or Good day, mate, or A up, or How are you doing? it's likely clear what country the person comes from, down to the region and their social ranking. Where I grew up in England, living on the outskirts of an industrial town in the Midlands, there were clear differences even between people living close by. A plummy good afternoon would indicate the greeter had been educated at a fee-paying school. Our yellow would mean they were from the town. And the accent of a working farmer, how are you, was clearly different from a landowner's greeting, afternoon, as he touches his hat and glances away. It would have been instantly clear if the speaker was from further afield, say, Yorkshire, how up, Northumbria, how reap pet, or from London, all right. Languages are defined by the people who use them, and they evolve rapidly. Rather than considering language as being symbolic and uniquely human, it is more productive to view language as a bottom-up, emergent aspect of culture that has evolved in lockstep with the human propensity to live and work in groups.